main rifle in general, but the main rifle that's basically identical in structure. And what I actually found about the new theme, you, you cannot really individualize things too much, as much as you used to be able to do, like colors and background. Uh, and the default look, it's it's really a matter of taste. I mean, to tell you the truth, I'm not I'm not I'm not so uh, crazy about it. Uh, I think it reminds I, I, me a bit of Facebook. Honestly, for the I, I, this is this is in blasphemy for somebody who supports open and or or open API and you know open core and so forth. But honestly, I don't like when web interfaces let the user just go completely nuts because inevitably you wind up with spaces like the old MySpace and like some people's YouTubes where they just break every rule of web design and you can't read anything on that page. Mm. And it's if people would take a look at what they've created and think how it looks to somebody else, this wouldn't be such a bad thing. But yeah. Occasionally, it does make your eyeball hurt. Yeah, no, I, I'd agree on on the case of standardization. Um, what will be now? Uh, the way YouTube works, I think they have a uh, restricted number of templates, but I think they let you customize a few things like colors and transparency levels of transparency, size of fonts, and so on. Uh, but they still have a kind of a restricted, narrow uh, structure. Uh, you know, you, you couldn't do anything you want. You still have to choose from a certain. Uh, Finite number of uh, well, and, say, and to play devil's advocate against what I just said, it, it, if you're a good if you're a good designer, the ability to just do whatever you want can you can actually make something far better than their templates. I, I almost wish they'd allow that option, but then have the option for the community to go, yeah, this page makes my eyes bleed, and if enough people say that, they go, okay, you obviously can't design, and you need to use one of our templates. Mm-hmm. That only applies to channel pages, though. I should mention something very quickly. So I know that the show is being put on YouTube, but I never actually link to the YouTube thing. I just put it as embedded. Uh, the reason is I, I, it's for, I prefer not to subscribe to us by YouTube, because uh, then we depend on YouTube as a, medi- as a, as a kind of a uh, medium point. But the, the thing about YouTube is it doesn't, uh, since they created the whole new channel, uh, channel pers- I, I don't think they had a channel a few years back, did they? They didn't have quite the same uh, channel view, did they? Rusty, or maybe you know? So what, for YouTube? For the channel yeah, version? I think the no, that, 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 that has changed uh, both in good ways and bad ways. Yeah, I mean, one of the things you cannot really do now uh, is well, for one thing, it doesn't count the views in quite the same way. So when people hang out in the channel, and you cannot really encourage them to even leave comments because many of them will just view things in a very restricted way and just move between the videos instead of trying to interact on them. And this is the complaint I heard from other YouTubers in general. Uh, yeah. The other thing is, uh, the other thing is, uh, it's really hard to, for example, grab links and. It, it violates quite a few rules. I'm not sure if it's based on, uh, I don't think it's based on iframes, but it just feels a bit like it. Even the way you scroll through videos, it just feels a bit very, it, it feels very unnatural for a web interface to be using that. It, it, what, what it was, was they've tried to, they've tried to dumb it down so it's a push button, and as a result, there's no ability to have any kind of elegance with any of that. And yeah, unless just, you're using tabs or something to even try and uh, expand the, the well, no, and, and the problem there is because of the way the code's put together, you can't always use tabs, which then creates a whole other problem. So it's, it's... Well, what we'll do, Roy, um, we'll go on to the next track, which you've kindly chosen for us, um, before we come back and uh, continue on with a bit of discussion about uh, patent issues and uh, Samsung and Android. So, uh, Roy, do you want to bring on the next track? Yeah, it's Swimming with Dolphins, and it's by Pajama Party. When you just can't sleep And you're sick of counting the sheep The sunlight in your head won't let you put the days to bed Pick a place to meet In pajamas and bare feet On the moonlit street Move me to the rhythm of your heartbeat Chicago. 
I think I'll pass it straight over to Roy, he's going to take us through the next section of uh, news topics. Alright, so what do you guys know about the patent uh, so-called reform that happened, uh, I think it was passed by Obama on last, like, last Friday, he signed? Uh, it, 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 in my personal opinion, and Marcel said it best, it does nothing whatsoever to uh, reform patents, and it does everything to encourage a whole new degree of abuse. Well, but they, they can say they did a reform because they changed something. Well, and no, what they the changed was they basically made it all but first to file is first to get. Yeah. So Microsoft, Apple, Google, multi-billion dollar companies can go down to the patent office, file a patent for every idea that could possibly be relevant for the next 20 years, and then they... If somebody else sits down, does the work, and creates it, they're like, well, we, we were the first to file. We own your idea that you did the hard work for. So we'll give you 50K for an idea you can't actually use because we own it. <laughs> yeah, I mean, one of the uh, – I'm, I'm concerned about it because people have saying, you know, patent reform, patent reform for the past few years. And now they'll say, oh, you got your patent reform. You Look, it's it's called the uh, – what's it called? American Vents or something? American Ventex? I, I hate those names. It's just it's the yeah, that's like calling the less office. thing we're putting through the works, the the you know the works bill or whatever. I'm like yeah yeah, call it whatever you want. You know, I'm, I'm starting to think the word act actually means reversal or something like that because every like, one of those things. Nine out of ten so. times when they name a law something like that, it, it means it's going to have the exact opposite yeah. effect. Yeah, so they should pass the pedophile act. And they should pass the terrorist act, and then just we just assume it's something against these things. Uh, but usually they they just dress it up as something. Uh, yeah. So, so I, I I read uh, on TechDirt uh, <clears throat> there was the argument that the way they dress these things up, the act, the way they I, I can't remember the name they used, it would imply in the newspapers that any congressman who says no to this act would be against the thing it's it's labeled. Yes. So there was it, one thing it, that would make the congressperson like seem like he's in favor of pedophilia if he says no to it, even though it's actually the, the very opposite. Like he's he's in favor of you know of actually doing the right thing against these things, and the other. 